Welcome to Afri Farmer. Now today it's day 29 and we are doing birds processing. Believe it or not, from day one our birds have actually matured. Now in this particular moment before we go to production side, I want to show you something quick first. Something that you need as a farmer and something if you have been thinking about broiler farming, I want you to start thinking about it today now this is what we call a freezer it's actually it's a ramtoms and uh, from the specifications you can be able to see it has two cool packs i mean they have a toughened glass adjustable temperatures interior light of course two basket we usually turn it on from that spot right there and it can be able to start as a farmer, this is one of the tools you need to invest on. Honestly, if you are looking to minimize your post-harvest losses, then definitely a freezer is something that you will definitely want to invest in. For us, this has been serving us for the last one year now and you can believe it looks as if it's new but no it's one year old and i've been using it to store most of my bad especially when i get orders to supply early in the morning then i'm able it has a capacity of around uh, 300 liters so you are able to keep your buds it's advisable to turn it on early in the morning so that the ice can start forming and as you can be able to see it's just right there wow guys so that is our freezer right there so it has two baskets and you see how big it is and obviously it also have this at the end I think this is the ice compartment and uh, it's 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 quite huge so we tend to store our buds as uh, as they're just being processed right now uh, later in the day I'll be able I'll show you how we able to store them but guys this right there is such a lifesaver so if you are thinking of getting into broiler farming think about investing in a freezer first now i know you might be asking yourself what are the benefits of investing in a freezer one is you will be able to minimize your post harvest losses what do i mean by this imagine a scenario whereby you have matured birds but unfortunately, you don't have a ready market for that particular day. Now, basic law will be like, uh, if you don't have a freezer, is to keep those bars until you get a buy. Now, imagine if you have like, let's say the bars I have, possibly around uh, 350, that's one bag of feeds used every day, which is approximately 4,000 Kenyan shillings. Now, let's assume your future buyer will only buy your birds per piece. Well, that will even make it worse for you because ideally, what you'd have sold your bird today well 
it's the same amount which you're going to sell your birds even in two days, three days, or four days, which means you are actually making losses. Enter a freezer. With a freezer, you are going to have the following benefits. One, you're going to minimize your post-harvest losses, meaning if you don't have a buyer today, you can still, well, harvest your birds and you can get them the next day or next day or even three to four days time without incurring further cost when it comes to production. Now, the second benefit is assuming you are transporting your birds as far as Mombasa, then the ideal condition will be to well to chill your buds a little bit before you transport them. So when the moment they are actually reaching their destination, whether it's Mombasa or Kilifi, well, they'll be chilled and they'll still have the freshness. And I feel uh, freezer, despite the cost of maybe purchasing it for the first time, it's a worthwhile adventure. And as a future farmer or as someone who is practicing farming, and you're into meat production, then, well, it's a no-brainer that you actually need to invest in a freezer. Now, let's jump in into the production and see what's going on, all right? We're just getting into the production flow, and today is day 29, and uh, you know, believe this, we have actually started our production. You heard that right. Within 29 days of keeping our day old chicks, we they have actually matured. So ideally today we are processing close to 150 buds. So we obviously we have uh, four different clients with the varying different needs. From one, we have those clients who are looking for 1.4 kgs. We have clients looking for 1.3 kgs. And last year, we do have clients looking for 1.2 kgs. And their prices also tend to vary. So obviously, what we are doing this morning is we are tending to pre-select the birds that is uh, trying to sort them out uh, in those varying parameters and uh, we are also processing them as the days goes by and obviously as you see i've just come from our cooler room whereby we tend to store them and this is very essential because imagine i as we are seeing most of these birds have attained the weight so it does it doesn't make any sense of keeping them for more days other than maybe 30, 32 days, and that is top notch. Let's see how the processing goes by, and I believe you're going to enjoy this. We tend to have two kind of segments. Uh, one on the right side, whereby you see Mr. Kashindo is in, is whereby we have uh, the normal birds, which we are continuously doing the selection. While on this other end, we have... Uh, a smaller portion and what we do on this side is uh, we are able to select the bud from this side which we feel uh, they have attained enough weight and we are able now to seclude them to this segment right here as you can be able to zoom close here is most of these buds tend to have an average weight of 1.8 to 2 kgs. Uh, apparently the client is looking for at least 1.4 kgs. So since morning, that's what we've been doing. And obviously at this stage, we don't tend to give them feeds because obviously they're just being processed right away. So what we tend to give is uh, just water because obviously if you tend to do processing, you can be able to see they only need water and within a few hours uh, you are able to process them. Look at this. It's just unbelievable um, how 29 days can be able to do to a bird. Uh, I was just surprised in the morning that uh, we have a bird with at least 2 kgs and it's just 29 days. So yeah. That's what's going on in the background. Well, 
these ones on the other end they tend to be the majority most of them are just averaging 1.6 to 1.7 and obviously we have uh, at least 20 percent with 1.5 kg so and our target is we'll be able to move these birds within this week as you can be able to see uh, most of these birds are actually averaging 1.8 kgs and uh, they are just right there if you are able now to process them with 1.8 kgs you are actually assured a minimum of at least 1.4 kgs and the highest being 1.5 kgs on dressed or what we call a dead weight now uh, it's going to take us a couple of uh, few hours and once we're able to finish the processing then we are going to put them in a freezer they're going to be packaged and in the morning most of these birds are going to be delivered so at this moment most of them are just taking naps and it's just understandable well now for this other end well they have to wait until maybe on wednesday all the way till on thursday and our target is um we will be able to finalize the processing of these birds by latest on friday so obviously uh the pre-selecting is being done and as you can be able to see from the background uh we do have the farm manager right there and uh, so it's basically now trying to sort the most of the buyers which we feel they have attained the weight basically this is so important for you as an entrepreneur for you as a farmer because uh, ideally it does not make any economical sense to continue feeding your birds if they have actually attained their weight so it's actually advised uh, if you have an agreement with a certain client and you know the kind of birds for example if we have a client who takes 1.2 kgs for a certain amount then it does not make sense for me to produce for more than 1.2 kg yet they are only going to pay for just 1.2 kg so this is why it's so essential for you as a farmer to rethink uh, the importance of having a freezer and having or what you call to minimize what you call your post harvest losses and try to make them uh, as profitable as possible so this is going to be exciting and can't wait so we have our weight scale there and uh, we have a farm manager Kashino maybe you can say hi to the audience hi, hi. so that's the Mr. Kashindo and uh, he has been phenomenal with the development of Afri Farmer so as you can see that's a uh, 1.7 kg so we turn now to pre-select it and put it here join the rest and uh, they are being uh, processed you know earlier on we had birds here and all of them have just been processed now we are actually picking others from that side and for this batch we are actually looking for 1.6 to 1.7 kg so as a farmer always remember to be able to be successful in this you need a way scale and the best way scale is that one for for the smallest one like 1.5 which are not many of them we tend to leave them and possibly they will be mature in the next uh, two to three days and of course if you get a client who is actually looking for 1.1 kg or 1 kg you can be able to pre-sell them so yeah that's uh that's the whole process of how you measure your bags
So uh, these ones are a bit way different than uh, the chicken. These are the livers and well, here we call them uh, firigisi. Uh, that's a Swahili word for what's inside the chicken other than the intestines. So those ones are actually sold separately. You can fetch close to 250 per kg. Well, also the birds are again sold differently. And as we talked earlier, we said um, depending on your client, you can sell per kg or you can sell as a uh, per piece. So, yeah, and look at inside how snowy it is. So, all this chicken will be preserved, and by tomorrow morning. Uh, they all will be ready. Uh, these weren't a lot of birds. They were close to uh, 35 pieces. So they are all inside. And uh, yeah, now we are ready now to sell it. It's more of a glass doors. You are able to slide as close as that. It's very simple, not complicated. Then we get another sliding door. You sure you have the farm manager helping me with that, and that's is it. Now, the last bit is always ensure that your freezer is closed, and uh, yeah, and of course, it's running now. Once we come back tomorrow early tomorrow morning, we are sure that our meat will be fresh and the client will be happy with delivery. So, I hope you see the essence of. Uh, investing in a freezer especially if you're getting into uh, poultry farming for uh, chicken or for meat production or even if you are a big farmer also you can get into uh, cold storage which again it's more of a bit more expensive than just a freezer but hey that one can do at long last we have actually finalized processing our birds um today we have actually uh, processed close to 185 birds which means it's been a good day in the office but we are so 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 tired trust me uh it might seem simple but it's a lot of work obviously we had like uh close to was it uh, close to one two three four five five people who are helping with uh, the dressing of the birds and i'm happy at least uh, we provided as well the opportunity for them to be able as well to earn their livelihood now for me i think i have one more meeting to attend before the day's ends and other than that i'll just call it a day and go back home uh, rest and of course uh, rise up tomorrow morning and we start the same case again hopefully by thursday we'll be able to finalize all the processing and can't wait to see what the day holds uh, for now it's a goodbye from afri farmer see you in the next one